Good morning. Welcome to Wednesday's Word. I'm so enjoying Lent, and you know last Wednesday was um, Ash Wednesday, and so as you're seeing it, we're a week into Lent, and if you've been using the devotions, it, it's witnesses to Christ, it's by Reed Lessing, and so um, Ash Wednesday, all that we're doing on Sunday mornings is part of this series, Witnesses to Christ. And his devotion today takes us from John chapter 1, verse 16. And from his, that is Jesus' fullness, we have all received grace upon grace. Now I want you to think about that, grace upon grace. Why do we need so much grace? Well, there are times when we really focus on our performance. Relessing in his story, he talked about trying to make a basketball uh, team and so for two weeks there would be intensives there would be tryouts he would put every ounce of his energy into his basketball skills because at the end of two weeks the coach would would post the names of the players that would be on the team and he wanted his name to be there and so friends in Christ we can get into performance and sometimes in our performance we think well well I'll make God's list of important people or kids of the kingdom if I just don't do certain things, if I stay away from wrong things, then God will put me on his list. Or if I do enough right things, then God will put me on his list, and then it's about service. The other one is about subtraction. Or even there's another way that people do it, and it's sincerity. If I just believe in, in whatever I believe, it's not that important as long as I, I'm sincere about it. Our culture tries to sell that. But we all know that sometimes we can be sincere about something, but sincerely wrong. So it's not sincerity, it's not subtraction, and it's not service that puts us on the list. Because friends in Christ, we all fall short. We can never subtract enough or be sincere enough or be enough of a servant to get into God's kingdom. We needed a savior, a savior from all our sins. For all the times we've been sincerely wrong, when we didn't subtract and when we didn't serve, and there is one who came to serve in our place, Jesus. And when I think about grace upon grace, about how he just infuses that grace, it's from his fullness we've received. Now, I want to show you the picture of Jesus. We had some people who decided they, they were going to help look through some things and get organized. And they found this picture of Jesus. They had a remarkable idea. They said, Pastor, what if we just put Jesus in different parts of the sanctuary and, and maybe somebody one morning, they're going to be sitting by the picture of Jesus. How would it affect them? How will it affect you to know Jesus sitting right by you or in front of you or inside of you? And on the days when we feel empty, on the days when we feel discouraged, on the days when we have felt defeated, to know from His fullness we receive grace upon grace, grace in forgiveness, grace in help, grace in our time of need, God's riches at Christ's expense, His unmerited favor He has for you today. So in this Lenten season, let us walk together to the cross of Christ and behold him and hear people's story, the witnesses of those whose lives were changed because of Jesus. We follow in their train. Let's pray. Dear Jesus, thank you for today.
Thank you for each and every day. It's a new day that you have made and we will rejoice and be glad in it. And thank you for your grace, that it wasn't a report card that we could ever generate that would get us into your kingdom, that would get us into your favor, but you showed us favor while we were still sinners, lost and hopeless and helpless. You came to our rescue and we are forever grateful. Thank you that though when we are empty, we receive from your fullness and we received overflowing grace upon grace upon grace. Thank you for your extravagant love and grace that you've shown us again today. In Jesus' name, amen. Have a wonderful week.